What's going on guys? I'm Steve. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, hit that subscribe button. Trust me, you won't regret it. If you're a returning subscriber, as always, guys, welcome back. And I do appreciate the support, guys. Listen, I was checking out my news feed today and I came across a story, man. It took my breath away. And uh, I want to share it with you. It's about a group home out there in Lawton, Queens. And it's a civil rights lawsuit that's been pressed since 2021, about when the occurrence happened. Now, they're not naming this 27-year-old uh, woman in here, but I will tell you this. This person was a resident of the group home, and uh, she's nonverbal, severely developmental, and she that's her disability. She's severely developmental. And uh, what the staff did to her, I don't know whether it's because she was difficult to work with or because she was you know, nonverbal and they thought they could get away with it, or they just didn't like her. Is atrocious. I'm not gonna say no more. I'm gonna let you look at this video. This thing ran me hot, y'all. Check it out. We are back with the News 4 exclusive on the federal civil rights lawsuit, shining a light on alleged abuse inside a Queens group home. Several incidents were recorded, and even though we blurred the video, you may still find it difficult to watch. Here is Chucky Beckford with the story. Attorneys say this shocking video from a group home whistleblower shows the sexual assault of a nonverbal, severely developmentally disabled resident, a worker yanking the victim's head back while shoving a sex toy down her throat, choking her. This is a really horrific, <laughs> egregious case. Attorney David Lebowitz is representing SB, the 29-year-old victim. He filed a federal civil rights lawsuit Tuesday against Independent Living Association for the alleged 2021 abuse at their Laurelton, Queens group home. Lebowitz says a whistleblower who did nothing to stop it sent this video to the victim's sister, her guardian, months later. Three more videos show the heartless abuse. In this one, a worker is seen beating SB with a cable box, while the worker who allegedly assaulted her with the sex toy just watches. In this third video, Lebowitz says another resident slaps SB while a third worker looks on and does nothing. And in the last video, SB is laying on a couch when that same worker allegedly throws a boot, hitting her. They should be put on a list so that they won't be working with people with disabilities in any, in any shape or form. Dr. Sharon McLennan Weir with the Center for Independence of the Disabled says that's just one of the ramifications that should happen. The state confirms three of the workers seen in the videos were criminally charged in 2022. But this is only the tip of the iceberg. At least some preliminary indication that there are quite a number of people within the organization who at least knew something about what was going on here. Sadly, Leibowitz and disability advocates say abuse in group homes is far too common. Very high incidence of this happening with people with intellectual disabilities. Leibowitz says SB was hospitalized hundreds of times since moving into the ILA home in 2017 and tried as best as she could to report her abuse. Her allegations of being mistreated and abused it was documented as fabrications. Astonishingly, despite the alleged abuse and staff that were charged, SB still lives in the home. Leibowitz says no other group beds are available anywhere in the area, and SB requires round-the-clock care. ILA did not return our request for comment. The state's Office for People with Developmental Disabilities saying in a statement tonight, any abuse of people receiving support through our service system is completely unacceptable. And we engage in multiple safety protocols upon receipt of abuse allegations. They would not specify what actions were taken at ILA. This happens to her. I wonder if it's also happening to other consumers living in the blue park. In Laurelton, Checky Beckford, News 4, New York. All right, guys. <clears throat> That's the story. And I'm going to tell you something. They said this girl was hospitalized hundreds of times from beatings. An adult, I mean, they have child abuse cases. It's a, also adult abuse. That right there was a bad case, right? I mean, just, just off the rip. Let me explain something to you. First thing is this. First question I have is this. Why is a sex toy in a group home? How are you putting that in somebody's mouth? I'm more than sure it was used before. And why is it in that house? 
these people have de developmental disorders and stuff like that. You think sex is the last thing they're thinking about? So you know it didn't come from one of them. They checked them and everything when they're brought in there and their clothing. So that wasn't from them. Somebody on the outside staff brought that in there. And I think that's not the first time they used that thing. Seriously, these people need to be in jail. All of them. the ones that didn't do anything. And everybody else said this woman, 27 years old, was trying to ask for help but couldn't speak. Now, I'm going to tell you something. I know people that have group homes. I had clients that had group homes. They ran and the adults there, a lot of times they nonverbal. They jump. They make a lot of gestures and stuff like that. And if you don't understand it, you would just think they just blabber. And I think that's the case. Man, this is crazy. You putting people that are irrational and supposed to be sane around people that are supposed to be irrational and insane in some cases. And you're taking their words for it when the roles need to be reversed, when they're the ones that have got more problems than the people. I know a lot of people that's like this and they're some of the sweetest people ever. You just got to understand them. Now, I don't know what the situation is, but there's nothing you can tell me that doesn't tell me that they didn't like that girl for some reason. You beat this girl with a cable box? Are you serious? People recording it? You throwing boots at this chick? The fuck is wrong with you? For real? You hear the doctor? Oh! They need to be put on a list so that they work, 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 uh, don't work somewhere else. No, they don't need to be put on a list. They need to be put in a line and walked right around the side of a, a barn and Shown daisies. Look at them. Bra. Get them out of here. Especially the one with the sex toy sticking it in somebody's mouth. One at a time, you start from in front of the line. March them out. I'll be right back there with that moss bird. Look at them daisies. Get it. Stupid stuff. They violated this woman, woman's rights, to no end. How you think her family? Felt seeing that somebody sticking a fake dick in somebody's mouth. Boy, what's wrong with people, man? Seriously, what's wrong with people? That's bullying. You taking advantage of people where you're hired to help them. Those type of crimes are the worst to me because that's right there is almost on the same level, if not worse than child abuse. And that's just the way I see it and the way I think about it. Man, I'm so tired of people out here getting taken advantage of that by the people that are supposed to help them. Seriously, there is no prison time, no nothing that will fix that. When something's in somebody, it's in them. Any type of physical, like negative trait that's in them. So what you going to do? Give them medication to quell that uh, thirst to do something? Bad to people? No. No, it's a mindset and a thought process. You can't get out of it. You can't. This is BS. Now, he said this happened in 2021. She needs round the clock care. And all they did was offer round the clock punishment. Throwing boots at her, beating her with cable. Uh, th what was she doing that was making y'all do that? Did you see the cable box break? They showed it in slow motion. That juggernaut was swinging for all she was worth. Who are you to correct somebody when you need your ass beat? Man, if that was my family member, I'm telling you. I'm coming there like a house on fire. Teeing off. Uh-uh, I don't want to hear nothing. Jesus Christ. Man, I mean, they, these people are in... Healthcare positions. Do they even give these people mental evaluations? Honestly, do they? And this place right here, Independent Living Association, need to be shut down. Said the girl still live in the house. They need to move her ASAP because everything around her reminds her of the torture and punishment she went through. Do you guys agree or disagree? That's BS. She might not be have all her faculties and stuff like a normal person. But she's still a human being and she still has pain and she still feels uh, hurt and she can still suffer from what? PTSD. To crush somebody like that, a grown up getting beat. 
You fucking kidding me? Show them the flowers. I'm Stock Market Steve for the Dynamic Reason channel. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. This is some BS here.